Hey guys! I'm here to talk to you today about the book The Best at It. This is by Malik Panchali. Um, I actually got to meet Malik Panchali back in September of last year and he was such a cool guy, really great personality, so I knew that his book was going to be amazing and it was. Um, so this book is about a boy named Rahul Kapoor and uh, some of the major people in his life are his best friend Chelsea, his grandparents, and his grandfather Bai. Um, that is technically the Indian word for big brother, but that's what he calls his grandfather. That's what he insisted on. Um, they have a very great relationship. It's very sweet. And um, this is about Rahul kind of figuring out that he is good at a lot of things, but he's not great at one thing. So he wants to find the thing that he is the best at. So he goes on searches for things. He's trying out a lot of different things like acting and football, even though he is not athletic at all. Um, I won't tell you what he eventually ends on, but you may be able to guess it from the cover. Um, <clears throat> but this is about his quest to try to find what he's greatest at, but it's also about him growing into himself as a person. So he's having feelings for one of his classmates that he really doesn't understand. He's not really sure what these feelings are or what they mean and he's also having these impulses that there's something wrong and then in order to prevent something really bad from happening that he has to do something a certain amount of times <clears throat> so he thinks that his bed is too close to his outlet so he has to swipe his hand in front of the outlet between the outlet and the bed five times to check that there is nothing going on there's no heat nothing is plugged in um so this is kind of about him dealing with that <clears throat> dealing with these evolving feelings and also trying to figure out what he's best at um again that is the best edit by Malik Panchali it is amazing on audio if you like audiobooks it's great it's read by the author and I always love when an author reads their own books so yeah, that's the best at it.